Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Grand Photo 5 Mods video. Today's video is going to be about both the United States Air National Guard and Army National Guard. Uh, in real life, about 25,000 soldiers and airmen from all 50 states and a couple of our territories as well have been deployed to the Washington DC area for the presidential inauguration, as well as for securing the capitals and important buildings in that area. So I figured, you know what, let's go ahead and show them some love in the game and let's try to you know do some cool stuff here so i found this airport which is pretty interesting i guess you guys will see it a little bit more once we take off but uh yeah let's head over to the planes i'm going to show you guys all of the planes and which one we're going to be flying i do apologize the texture there's really low on this map i don't know why probably because it's an add-on but i do have everything up on high so once we get out of here everything will look back to normal so over here we have a c-17 just to show you guys really quickly this one is of the mississippi air national guard it's going to be transporting three humvees plus uh soldiers as well and then over on this side, we have a KC-135. This is actually normally used as a uh, refueling aircraft. I know most of you guys probably know this as one of the tankers. It has like the boom on the back, which is used for refueling as an aircraft. But something I didn't know, it's also used as a medical transport. So I'm gonna show you guys that. And it's used as a troop transport. It could hold a couple of troops as well. So that's what we're gonna be using. We also have a C-130. Uh, this one is from the West Virginia. The Air National Guard and it looks like this one we're flying is going to be from the uh, Wisconsin Air National Guard so uh, let's see I'm gonna park my Humvee over here you can see we have troops uh, both uh, airmen and troops from the Air National Guard and the Army National Guard that we're gonna be transporting so I'm gonna be flying the KC-135 let me show you guys the inside of this aircraft it's pretty cool so first we're going to move the cargo loader out the way. So we already used the cargo loader. We have all the cargo loaded up. This thing is pretty cool. It can actually lower itself down as well as lift back up, which is really, really cool. So we'll move this cargo loader out of the way. I'll put this right here for now. Let's get the steer truck. And I actually saw a video on YouTube and that kind of motivated me to do this video. It was kind of cool seeing all of the like vehicles and troops and stuff that they were using and setting everything up. It's pretty cool, you know, obviously do support the uh, military and, you know, thank them all for their service every single day. Uh, this may not line up. This is normally used to reach higher aircraft, but... Um, I don't know. This is actually too tall for where we need it to be. I think I'm going to hit the plane yeah this is actually too high all right so i was going to use that change of plans we'll put this away and i'll just use this even though this isn't what you would normally use to load people we'll just use this instead so let's put that back over here all right perfect so let's go on board the aircraft Okay, welcome aboard the KC-135. You guys can see we have some soldiers on board already. So this is where we can transport troops if we need. Uh, we also have, I guess the medical area isn't really simulated, but or uh, modeled in the game, I should say. But I think it was about somewhere right here in this front area was a, like a medical area where they could hold a couple stretchers and transport injured um, troops if they have to for medevacs, which... It's pretty cool. I didn't know that this plane can do that. It's a great way that they can get injured people like wherever they need to go to the other side of the world that they need for treatment, which is really cool. Um, back here is where the boom operator goes. So that's where you would sit to refuel other aircraft. Has a very nice view. Let me just use menu to go into it right here so you guys can kind of see it. So this is where the boom operator sits. And from here they'll be able to see this boom here this thing lowers down and then it can refuel other aircraft so very very cool and that's the job of the boom operator um over here i think this is like where our fuel is going to the back i'm guessing so like it comes from the fuel tanks and the wings and below the aircraft and it 
to go to the back to refill. Over here we have some supplies, so it looks like we have some uh, MREs and stuff like that. And yeah, it looks like we are ready to go. So I'm going to get everybody loaded up, and uh, once we are ready, we'll uh, get ready for takeoff. Oh yeah, enough I have to mention. So basically what we're going to be doing is simulating flying from like the Midwest in the United States and we're going to be flying to Washington DC, dropping off the troops and from there they'll get in a convoy and head down to the capital. During that intro scene when I was talking, one thing I wanted to do was load up one of these Humvees. So let's see if we can do that. Now in real life, this thing can fit about 10 of these side by side, or uh, uh, two rows of five, 10 in total. So it's a little smaller in the game, but it's still good. So we'll get that one locked and loaded. I'm going to get back to my plane because we're going to be flying the KC-135 over on that side. It is go time. We have the plane loaded up with our troops. And it is now time to get this thing started and fly to Washington, D.C. Let's go ahead and close the final hatch and get the engine started. We are all locked up and ready to go. I'm going to go towards the uh, cabin now. We are now in the cabin, ready to depart. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, I guess the seat over there from my co-pilot's a little bit messed up. But uh, yeah, this is what the inside of it looks like very very cool all right let's turn on the engine all right everything's looking good quick flight check all right flight controls are clear and normal for you normal so let's proceed to taxi out to the runway Oh, it says 707 Boeing. This is actually, this frame is based off the 707. Now, this airport is pretty interesting. It's just basically out here in the middle of the water. I think they created this after the London City Airport, I believe, according to the details of the uh, mod that I downloaded. So, pretty cool. Nice little airport. I was trying to avoid the grass, but it's okay. All right, so it looks like this is going to be a runway niner. We're going to be heading to Fort Zancudo, a.k.a. Andrews Air Force Base in Washington. Well, not in Washington, but you guys know what I mean. So let's prepare for takeoff. Let's get takeoff power is set. I cannot see a thing. I'm sitting low, too, actually. I can't even see it. This is a short runway. <laughs> oh my goodness, we barely got up in time. Alright, so we're gonna make our way towards Fort Zancudo now. Kind of see the airport a little bit here. It's gonna disappear once we get far away from it, but it looks pretty cool. What the heck was that? All right, so uh, we're going to be landing right over there, but let's fly around Los Santos a little bit just to kind of add to the video here. It would be amazing if they actually made like Washington DC for the game, like Rockstar did that. Imagine a Grand Theft Auto, like imagine a Grand Theft Auto in the future based on Washington DC. <laughs> that would be insane. <laughs> And what if they had like a White House heist? That would be crazy. Like that's something they could never do. Like you cannot break into the White House. I guess we could maybe do a Capitol heist. We could break into the Capitol building, but that's not a good joke. I'm just joking. That's a bad joke. What happened at the Capitol was very crazy and tragic and sad that there was a loss of life there as well. Definitely praying for the officer who passed away of the Capitol City Police.
So this video isn't really about aerial refueling, but if we were to do aerial refueling, that boom is what goes down, and that is how other aircraft are refueled. All right, let's start our approach into Fort Zancudo. We're gonna go ahead and start descending. All right, landing gear is down. We are making our final approach into Fort Zancudo. Again, for the purpose of the video, this is basically Andrews Air Force Base in Washington, D.C. I would fly first person, but I really cannot see a dig in first person with the seat, so... Third person it is. You are flying in restricted airspace. Turn around immediately. And we are down. Oh, we actually landed the proper way based off the uh, wind direction. Cool. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and unload our troops and uh, cargo. And in the next video, we will be transporting them from Fort Zancudo base to uh, Los Santos. And that's basically going to represent them being transported from uh, Andrews Air Force Base to the capital and the Washington DC and all the other areas that they're going to be securing and again I got this video idea based of what's going on in real life so you know I want to definitely say thank you to all of the members of the military those are the ones that are not not only those that who are like deployed and just this but all of our military deployed all around the world everyone active prior I just want to say thank you for your service also you know our police officers our first responders everything like that and yeah, hopefully everything goes well with the inauguration. This is like really the craziest inauguration I've ever seen in my life so far as far as like the whole security threat and stuff like that is pretty crazy. But hopefully everything is safe. Hopefully nothing happens. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video as well. If you guys did, please remember to hit the like button. It helps out a lot. If you enjoyed the video, just smash that like button. Leave some comments down below. Subscribe if you are new. Also hit the notification bell so you can be notified whenever I post a new video. And let me know, what else would you guys like to see? What else would you like to see me do a video on? Give me some ideas down below in the comments section. So again, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.